I'm not even gonna say we back again because we're recording this like maybe 10 to 15 minutes after we recorded the last one. But welcome back if you didn't see the last one. Welcome back to another episode of Rep the G Podcast. As always, it's me, Squid, or Heem. We got Tony in the building. Mm -hmm. We got finally to the people that are her fans of her, Liza, to all the supporters to the people who are supporters of her we finally you finally get to see what she looks like we actually have a woman on the podcast haven't had her in a while mm -hmm. women? <laughs> we got kendra on here what's up back up you're not gonna say nothing you just gonna wish no sabo english i got it you feel like I gotta record this, right? Hello. <laughs> we got her in the building. I got her in the building because I'm not, I wouldn't say proficient. It's not a nice word to say. You don't indulge. I, I don't indulge. Last episode, we talked about our first times and our experiences drinking. And now we're talking about our, ex I know we talk about experiences <laughs> high. I'm sorry, I fucked that up. This is our experiences drinking now. I don't drink alcohol that much, but Tony and her said they do. So, y'all gonna hear me chime in whenever I gotta say something. I'll say my story last because I want y'all to hear them because they got more things to say but me. But I'm gonna let them really take control. I'm gonna let them, like, how was, how was drinking been to you? How was, how was, why do y'all like it? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> like, the way drinking is for me, I guess. It like it helps pass the time. That's be chilling. Like I don't do it fairly often, but occasionally if I have it on me or if I like you know I'll give me something to drink. I'll crack and drink, especially if I'm off tomorrow. So I usually drink then and just go about my day. But yeah, like the, for the stories you want to start country, you want me to start. Like, How you like drinking? I'm drinking just fine. I don't know why people make it such a big deal. Like it's a problem. Um. I believe drinking is fine. It's a nice way to wind down and to really? enjoy a night, a night out with your friends or whatever. And that's just how I feel. And I don't do it often. I do it maybe once a week, which isn't too bad. You know, everybody everybody deserves a glass of wine or something you once don't a drink week. Wine. <laughs> okay, I can buy wine if I wanted to. Purchase but, it. Okay, I'll buy wine next week when I drink my one glass of wine a week. <laughs> Name a wine right now. Shut her home. <laughs> <laughs> get back to hey, y'all should give me a line. I do not fucking know. That's the crazy part. <laughs> it's the same green wine. Yeah. Yes. I I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take you out one day, and I'm, I'm gonna get you. You gonna shoot me out? I'm gonna slut you out. You gonna, I'm gonna get slutted, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I ain't never got one. Nah. Oh, you so said she's. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't never got one, boy. What's y'all story? What's y'all? What's y'all? Yeah, you can say your first experience. You can say your funniest experience. Alright, you want me to go first? You wanna go first? It don't matter. Let it, let it flow. Okay. Alright, fuck it. I'll start the first. All right, this I'm gonna talk about my first time drinking, like my first time fully drinking. In the Spanish American War. Listen, the like the, me and my cousins <laughs> are veteran. We fought and we died. No, but listen, basically when I turned twenty, when I turned twenty one, <laughs> when I turned twenty one, listen, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you, you're playing no role this episode, beat it. But all right, <laughs> listen. All right, so when I first turned 21, literally, it was like this. Basically, I was like, I'm going out to dinner with my family. So I'm like, all right, cool. Mom, um, it's not that, I guess. You know, basically, we go out to dinner. So we go, like, we go to the Miller's. We go to this little, this little spot called Miller's Ale House. It's a restaurant spot. It's a restaurant spot. It's nice. Yeah, with the Miller's Ale House? Yes. That place is terrible. Yeah. Yo, there's don't sleep on that place. Be slapping. Bro, to, maybe because what I ordered. But I'm sorry, I, I'm a country girl. Yeah, nah, because it's in a certain area. That's why. But yeah, basically we went there. So we go there, right? We were like, just we're waiting. They get checked in because they're still doing like, all right, there's wait, there's wait, wait limits and shit, like wait times. So we're waiting. Literally, our realtor who got like 
like the house that we're at now, a realtor, he's he basically became part of the family. He he's like young, like young into his twenties as well. So cool dude. He pulls up and was like, All right, like, yo, it's your birthday. I'm getting you a drink. Let's go to the bar. I'm like, all right, bet. Went to the bar. So we go to the bar, boom. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I think nobody's paying attention to me. <laughs> 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 Don't My bad. Really doing this. <laughs> yeah, like, like basically, go to the bar, or whatever. He ordered me. He's ordered me a shot. He ordered me a shot of Hennessy because I wanted to try it. I'm like, you okay. Never tried Hennessy before then? No. Surprisingly, I had opportunity. Never tried it. I had wine before. I had Grey Goose, shit like that. But yeah, had a shot of Hennessy. I'm like, all right, cool. Then he gave me like, then he ordered like Hennessy. She said Hennessy's trash. Try this whiskey, like this. Top shelf whiskey. I'm like, try that. That shit hit hit my phone. I was like, mm, okay, crazy. And then I started drinking this blackberry and vodka or whatever the shit was. So you, I'm sipping on it. You was mixing? Wait, I'm no. That, that gets way from now. I'm talking about that. But basically, I was sipping that. But then I realized I had it at the time. I had to pick up my sister. So I'm like, right. I couldn't drink too much. So we we eat. I'm like, let me put a drink down. I'm my, I didn't eat anything today, so I'm feeling a little buzzed off that. So I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. I eat, sober back up, drink water, go pick her up. My realtor texts me. My, this is the funny part. My realtor leaves. He's like, I got to go to an AA meeting. <laughs> no, no bullshit. You look at me. No bullshit. He literally left to go to an AA meeting after drinking, and he said he got gum in the car. So he do that. Bye bye. Boom. He's out. So basically, I eat, go back home, then go pick my sister up, take her back home, and go from there. He texts me like, "All right, I'm out. You, like, you and your, like, you and you, you and your sister, let's go out to the, let's go out to the bar." I'm like, I'm not really feeling it because I'm like, I don't feel like doing all the drinking and whatever, blah blah blah. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I'm like, all right, one, two drinks. He's like, all right, one and two. And he's like, okay, bet. Pulls up, pick us up. We go to his little corner like corner shanty bar or whatever it's a little corner spot where bums probably go but yeah Damn. <laughs> it, was, bro, it was a dead end bar bro, it was like a little dead end bar it wasn't like no you know it was like a little dive jump we apologize to the people that go to that bar yeah no bums listen listen <laughs> the people were cool i ain't gonna lie it's just real to recovery bar <laughs> but listen no, Wait, this yeah, is how yeah, you this yeah, how you yeah, went to a bar go to the aa meeting he went to the AA meeting. Basically, it was for a while back. This was already two years back. He had a he had a DUI charge. He's cool with a, he's cool with the sheriff of the area, and he was basically like, "Look, go to AA." Then that's when the, the virus happened, and it delayed this. So he's basically going for a DUI that was back in 2019, like 2019 for recent. <laughs> so that's I don't know how that worked, but that's what happened. He went to AA meeting. I don't think that's the nigga that should be telling people to go drink. <laughs> yeah, but bro, listen. So we go to this little shanty bar or whatever. We're chilling. He he knows people they're talking. He invited one of his friends there. So we just sit here. We're drinking. He's like, all right, we're gonna start. We're gonna drink a ginseng, a ginseng side. All right, cool. Boom. Knock it back. Nothing buzzing bad. Tastes like green tea, basically. It was tough. So we was like, all right, cool. What else? We gonna do some vodka, drink a vodka and cranberry. I'm like, all right, cool. Drink that. I'm like, ooh, this is good. And he's just like, so we just told him we just shooting this shit. As I'm drinking, I'm like, okay, I'm starting to get more loose. I'm like, you know, I could go for another one. Then another one. So now his friend's here, my real sister's here, my sister's here, and it's me. And then one of the other friends walk in the bar. So now it's a whole table of us chilling, talking shit about one of like one of his friends not smashing this girl that he dated for seven years. It's sad. Funny story. That was a funny ass story. But basically, I'm drinking, I'm getting loose. I'm like, all right, cool, I like it. And then he was just like, here. So he like he he stopped drinking around like four drinks. I had like three drinks at the point. He slid me his glass he ain't touched. And I said, you know what? Grabbed it, chugged it, and boom. And my sister, she don't like to, she like she like to treat. She don't really drink like that. She's like, here, she slid me her joint. And then they was like, go ahead, knock that bitch back. I knocked it back. She were packing my back, like keep going, I'm do do do. Knocked it. All right, boom. You got peer pressure? <laughs> <laughs> essentially, <laughs> essentially. This story sound like you just got peer pressure in the drink. I'm not even going along. <laughs> essentially, we been like this. Essentially, but I was like, all right, it's funny. It, like, it gives a good story, whatever. So I'm like, all right, I'll give him another drink. So mind you, I had like, at this point, I had like six vodka and cranberries. Then I started getting shots of E&J Apple. That's a good ass drink for my people out there. E&J Apple, shots, boom, boom. Not three shots down to that. So six vodka and cranberries. One Jason shot, 
and two, three shots of E&J. Ow! Huh? No, he was driving. Ow! You tried to incriminate him? <laughs> like, right? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> but nah, so I'm fucking blasted. So I'm like, I'm like this. I'm over here like, yo. <laughs> Funny enough, one of, the, one of his friends that came there that we didn't know was coming to the bar, Larry gave me some oil. It was like, yo, put this oil on me. We'll get some pussy that night. Twenty of shit. No bullshit. Did you get some pussy that night? No, nah, they all was dead. <laughs> <laughs> all dead. Bro, I won. I was drinking <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, that's the funny part. That's the funny part that I remember doing that. Because it was just like, I don't know why he said that. Because one, all the people who came there, there was some white people in there that was already with other people. So there was nobody in there. I'm like, I don't know why he said that. <laughs> You put oil in another girl that's bitch. No, he gave me the answer, put this on. He gave me the answer, put this on, you get pussy in the night. I'm just like, like Tony at the bar, that's great. Yahoo! He gave him that motherfucker or He gave him the oil. Tony said, I'm activated. <laughs> yo, I'm like, that nigga all right. said, well, dog, you lit fucking <laughs> hell or whatever. I was like, yo, all right, cool, whatever. Boop, boop, put that on. I don't know. It was funny. It was a good vibe. We just telling jokes and shit, stories, and we just fucking around. I'm like this. I go to the bar. I'm walking. I'm like, oh, this shit moving. Went to the bathroom. Then I was like, you know what? Let me go outside and get some air. When I tell you that walk from the table we was at to the doorway to outside was the longest walk of my life. That shit was like where it was spent. I was on the pursuit of happiness at that point. Went outside. Did spin or spun around three times in the parking lot. Laying on the wall. <laughs> And then I was like this. I start FaceTiming people. She know she know who who I FaceTime. I was talking reckless on that phone, I ain't gonna lie. No, we say we say names on this podcast. No, nigga, nigga, we're not speaking on this one. <laughs> that one that's for a later time. We'll tell you later. Oh, but man. yeah. But yeah. I get back and I walk in, they check on me and they just like, Are you ready to go home? I'm like, all right, cool. I go home, he drop me off, and you know, he drop me off, I'm going I go upstairs. I'm like, all right, cool, I'm fucked up. I get on the game and I start playing out. I think I was playing an arc with Justin. Justin. And Justin's like, bro, you fucked up. Oh, I was over here saying some bullshit. And one day you text me, bro. I was, I, I got the proof on the Xbox. You text me on the Xbox, bro. I'm, I'm all for local right now. I'm all for local. That was another time, but I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> that was story. so, I was like, why didn't he just text my phone? I don't know. I seen you on, I was like, this is But, uh, basically... You know how drunk you gotta be to want to type with the controller? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, oh, no, that's how I wasn't that drunk, though. Was I? No, I wasn't that drunk. You had to be I that drunk. drunk. <laughs> no, I was. I had no fun. Phone. I'm using the controller. No, because I had the controller in my hand act actively. That's why. So you actively left the game, went to check, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, let, like, let me explain my, that story. I'll get to that. <laughs> I'll get to that. All right, cool. Damn, we all jumping, man. He said, mm, squid on, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's that? I was, all right, all right, crazy. crazy. So basically, like, we playing, just like, bro, you fucked up, aren't you? I'm like, yep. I was like this. I had my headphones on the controller. I'm like, I gotta use the bathroom. I went into the bathroom. I thought I put the mic on mute. So I sit down. I'm Traffic. I'm taking the shit. I'm taking the shit. And then... I put the controller down and the headset on the sink. The controller was on the floor. I leaned, like, I don't know why there's more to my. I took my shirt off. So I had my shirt off. You did all this. Bro, let, it gets worse. It gets worse. So I'm sitting here. I'm chilling, doing what I do. This will happen. This I close my eyes. I lean back. <laughs> I lean back. And all I know is that bitch came up. That shit said, wait, wait, time out. You threw up on the toilet yes. with your shirt off and you was shitting? Yeah. No, no, scratch. No, I didn't have the shirt off. I had to take my pants off. That's what it was. You was ass. <laughs> no, was no, ass no, I, no, 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 no. I'll have a shirt. I, he I, I messed ass up. Nigga on a mic with a nigga. With a nigga. Really? No, I took the headset shitting. off. Shitting. <laughs> I took the headset off. I thought I put it on me because I'm just like, I don't need him to hear that, but apparently I did not. Fuck it. <laughs> listen, that's why I don't drink. Like, that's why listen, you drink uh, responsibly. Like, uh, listen, no, this was the first. Tw this was bringing the twenty-one right. But listen, so I threw up. My I had vodka and cranberries made, so all I see is red, and I'm just like, oh fuck, I threw up. I'm not a heathen, so I wipe my ass. <laughs> Wash my ass. <laughs> Wash my ass. <laughs> throw up. Yeah, you can't <laughs> I didn't throw up on myself. That's the perfect part. I didn't throw up on myself. If I missed myself and it hit my floor, it was on the floor. 
some of them carpets. I had to wash like some of them. So I don't want that in my controller. Tony. Not bad. Tony. <laughs> it get worse. <laughs> so, no, it get worse. I don't think they want to hear it. It get worse. I don't, I don't, I don't think they so, want to hear So, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm gonna have to put a do a discretion as advised on the beginning and some motherfucker. I'm so making bad. a bad impression for the people. I'm shit. No. So this is the first. That's how. That's how you want niggas to know you. Y'all associate. Y'all associate with a nigga. Oh, shit. Tony, the image of you. Tony, the image of you going like this with your shirt off, with vomit on your floor, and shitting your hands from the tissue. No, I didn't shit my hands. I wet my ass. Cause I'm like, I'm not an eater. I wasn't going to just get up and be like, oh shit. I'm like, flush the toilet, whatever. I get up, I look, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's get, oh my God, it get worse. It get fucking worse. So then. We should have let you go first. <laughs> my story would have been freaking done. Y'all, you know, everybody know my story. It, cool. it get fucking worse. Basically, after I threw up, I looked at it and was like, shit. I then proceed <laughs> literally <laughs> no. shit. Listen, I made sure I flushed and washed my hands. And I ain't no fucking cretin. But nah, literally got butt ass nigga laid on the floor, fell asleep. And woke up at five in the morning and had to clean that shit up. That's how I brung in twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just a freshman. These niggas, juniors and seniors, they see my ass with shorts on. The shirt I had on was like an Angry Bird shirt that I had as a young boy that I could still fit. Oh, no. Socks and some and my glasses on. So I chose the tallest nigga there because of my jail shit. And <laughs> <laughs> I chose the tallest nigga there because of what I had to get into when jail was involved. One side, hold on. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay.